Okay, so here we go. Part one, I guess, if you'd like to call it that, of our upgrade of our veggie patch. As you can see, we've got existing three veggie patches, uh, raised veggie patch as uh, it stands there now. And um, very shortly, I'm about to, this one down there, I'm going to actually uh, turn into an aquaponic system. For those of you that don't know about aquaponics, it's basically a fish breeding system that uh, runs a drain up to the top grow bed, basically drains right the way through, gives all the nutrients to all the plants, and uh, therefore grows nice and healthy plants. No soil needed, and uh, very, a lot less maintenance and so forth. So uh, I guess we're, we're about to um, embark on a new top, uh, building of the new top. As you can see, all this cheap garbage that we bought from Bunnings, it's just perished. So we're about to uh, put a, a 50 grade shade sail right the way across this, uh, shade cloth rather. And uh, as you can see around the edge, we're going to actually raise this up about 100 mil, just so we've got a bit more headspace in here, because it is a little bit confined at the moment. Uh, it all consists of treated pine, so it's not going to rot. So I'll just add some treated pine to the top. At the moment, I've got a full irrigation system in here already working, and uh, that's from the pump down the other end of the property. All feeds up to here have a valve there and obviously a timer simply just turn that and it activates the whole system and uh, works really really well but uh, no good for a fish so I'm going to have to make a few changes there if we walk down here a little bit this is a perfect situation as you can see the tank down the bottom there I'll actually put a, uh, a, a sump tank up here for a filter and that's going to uh, take out all the solids and garbage out of the fish tank before it actually enters the grow bed up here. Now, um, I'm going to actually do the electrics for the pump and the aeration machine uh, all by solar. I've got, my, got myself some solar panels and I'm going to put them up the top of the chook shed facing that way. So that will be pretty much self-sufficient, we'll be off the grid. Therefore, it won't be costing a cent for this to run except for the fish food and maybe some seedlings. So it's going to be interesting. be a good fun project to, uh, to dabble in. Uh, I'm excited about it. I've been starting to buy bits and pieces on eBay and so forth. And all I've got to do is get a what they call an IBC tote. And uh, it's basically a big container that uh, goes around the world. And uh, they put molasses in there and sunflower oil and things like that. So I've just got to get a food grade one of those. Um, you'll see in my coming posts that I'll, uh, on the new ones of those that I get. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. I'm estimating probably only three or $400 to set it all up. Um, should be very interesting. So yeah, I'm going to run that all through there. Let's see how that goes. And eventually what I'll do, there's another system you can do, but basically I, I can take all the soil out of this one and I can put a pond liner in there and we can have a floating bed so you can do all sorts of veggies like all your leafy vegetables like, um, like your lettuces and spinach and all that sort of thing. And of course you get to eat all the fish, um, probably use jade perch. So yeah, pretty interesting. So just watch this space, we've got a great great area to work with here and I uh, look forward to sharing this with you in, in the ongoing post. Cheers!